200年前には建てられていた家でした。その人々の頭の上を放射性物質をまとった雲が流れ続けていることなど全く知らされてはいませんでしたテレビで爆発の映像を見ながらここは安全に違いないと思っていましたそこで子どもたちの。春には田植えの田植え踊り秋には豊作を祝ってお宮さんに捧げる鹿踊りという踊りがありました2010年の秋にそれが最後になりました The radioactive fallout from the Fukushima Daiichi disaster heavily contaminated many areas of Japan, but none more so than Namie and Itati, which lie north of the crippled nuclear reactors. This area is the highly contaminated exclusion zone of Namie, where radiation levels will remain a threat until next century to any evacuees wanting to return home. Greenpeace is measuring tens of thousands of points around those evacuated homes, in the forests, farmland, as well as scanning roads. More than 100 microsievert per hour. This is more than 1,000 times the background before the accident. Even 200 microsievert per hour has been here on that spot. This is highly contaminated. Seven years after the accident of Fukushima Daiichi, Desperate to create a sense of normality, in 2017, Japanese government lifted the evacuation order in this part of Namie and are trying to force people back by removing their compensation. Yet 98% of all radiation measurement points in this area of Namie were higher than the government targets. The Japanese government's plan to force people to choose to return and lose their compensation is a cynical effort by the Japanese government on behalf of the nuclear industry to create a sense that you can recover from a nuclear disaster, even if it's a three reactor meltdown. If they can create the sense that everything is recovering, it will reduce, they believe, public opposition to nuclear power in Japan. In Nami, more than 21,000 people were evacuated in 2011. As of December 2017, 440 people were living in this contaminated area. And the dose rate is now between 1 and 1.5 uh, microsievert per hour. Before the accident, it was 0 0.05 or 0 0.07. So it's about 20 times higher than the background was. The was very high radiation levels are found in Ibori. On both sides you will see radiation readings from our survey in this deserted community. One of the areas we measured here has levels that would give you an exposure of over 100 millisieverts if you were to stay there for one year. This is a hundred times above the recommended maximum levels, but the Japanese government wants to lift evacuation orders here in 2023.
the ineffective decontamination program exposes thousands of workers to severe radiation risk, who are often paid as little as $20 a day. More than 70% of these areas of Fukushima are mountainous forests that cannot be decontaminated. The result means limited reduction of radiation levels, and at the same time, they've created a vast nuclear waste crisis. On either side of you is a nuclear waste storage area. In total, nuclear waste is stored at sites of varying sizes at over 146,000 locations in Fukushima Prefecture. There are currently 24 million tonnes of nuclear waste scattered across Fukushima, with a projection of 32 million tonnes over the coming years. That's a direct challenge to the Japanese government that wants to create a false sense that everything is returning to normal. There is nothing normal about this situation. We're in uh, Namie, uh, next to a kindergarten and elementary school, which was evacuated in March 2011. There's about 100, 174 young children at the elementary school. This area was opened to uh, the citizens uh, to move back as of April 1st, 2017. Uh, the authorities have decontaminated around the school, but what we've found is that the levels are still well above background, even in a decontaminated strip, which is maybe only three or four meters into the forest. The levels are one, 1 1.7 microsieverts per hour. Government's target is 0.23. But beyond the decontaminated strip, which is the vast area around here, uh, the levels are actually much higher. Not just one microsievert per hour, but we've just been measuring two, three, four, and even five microsieverts per hour. This is an area that is within a matter of meters of a school uh, where the authorities, the Japanese government, has said it's safe for people to come back, it's safe for children to go to their schools. そして私の子供たちもおじいちゃんにそこの下の枝から出た枝にブランコを作ってもらって揺られていました。このままここで暮らして息子の子供たちのために私がこの枝にブランコを作るはずでした。そういう未来を原発事故で失いました。残念です。